today we are in the Council of Europe uh, on the winter session and uh, the spotlight of this building in this hall is the red dress made by British artist uh, Christine McLeod. Christine, please uh, tell more about this dress. What is the history um, hidden behind this dress and what is the main message of it? Okay, yeah, so it's nearly 14 years in the making and I started it as like a mission to try and create a, a work of art that would bring people together. I was so fed up of all the oppression and patriarchy and separation prejudice that I was witnessing in the world. I grew up in many different countries. Um, so I wanted to create a piece of work that would do the opposite, would try and bring people together, to kind of have a conversation on identity. But over 60% of the artists are vulnerable women living as refugees or recovering from war, survivors of conflict-based sexual violence or women living in poverty. So for those women, um, I hope that the dress is an opportunity to have their voice shared and heard. So that's my motivation for doing this work for such a long time. And uh, how was uh, the process, how this uh, dress travelled around the world, so how you found these women to embroider mm. it? So uh, for the most part, I didn't have the budget to travel to every country with the whole dress, so I sent out panels of the silk and then the artist would work on it and then send it back to me. Sometimes I did get to go to the countries and that was very special because I got to meet the artist. Most of all, it was through contacts of my family because we'd travelled so much all, all my life. So I just wrote to everyone I knew, um, just asking if they knew any artisans or if they knew charities that supported women through embroidery. But it was actually very slow to start. It took a few years for the project to get going, but once I had some momentum, then people began to write to me to ask if they could work on it or if the charity that they knew could work on it. So that was great, really great. There are so many stories hidden on this dress and yes. depicted on this dress. Uh, maybe there is a sto story which uh, impressed you the most, uh, which touched you the most. Uh, I, I couldn't say the most because they, they all move me so much and I feel such an appreciation and a, um, a kind of humility to every single piece on the dress. But there are a few that have uh, really knock, knocked me, like just, just the power of the, of the piece. For instance, um, this one from Rwanda, which is here. Um, which depicts the horrors of war, but then the, the, the healing that the six women that made that are now experiencing through their embroidery work and their new community. The last um, uh, embroider uh, uh, piece was uh, made by a Ukrainian woman, right? Yes, yes, so it was designed by four-year-old Adele from Ukraine and it was stitched by Maria, um, a, an artist And, and how did Ukraine. you find a, a, a little girl uh, like oh my goodness. To, to paint these yeah. uh, stars? Uh, Adele's mother works here and then someone had uh, met Maria at some kind of group here in Strasbourg and, and okay. remembered that she was a talented embroiderer. So it was through the staff at the Council of Europe that we found both of them. Are you going to expose this dress also in some museum or what is the next story yeah. uh, of, of this dress? Yes, yeah, so it's what got about, about five years of museum exhibitions ahead of it now. So it goes off to next week to a museum in the north of England and then it's going to go to America for two years, South Africa, Australia, Sweden, Poland. So yeah, it's got many, many, many museum exhibitions. But within that, there's also um, lots of outreach events and presentations. I, I like to take the dress to all people. So even, and for those that are struggling, they don't have the safety, they don't have the love, they don't have um, ways to live happily, then, then that's where we need to really rally around and, and support and come together. This is an example of how community and people can come together, can, can help and to heal. That's what we need to focus on.